Hi guys, it's me, Wussy, and Richard, and Amelia, and Florence. Florence, you made me laugh. Why? Do you know why? When I went Anne, she went Amelia. Like, <laughs> you don't need to say her name, you just say your own. <laughs> You'll get it. Uh, welcome to another magical day here at Walt Disney World. We are currently in our villa at Reunion Resort, but today we are going to, this is a big clue, the Twilight Zone Tower of Tarot Tower. But that's not where we're going. We're going to Disney's Hollywood Studios. Woo! Okay, let's try that again. Bit more enthusiasm. We're going to Disney's Hollywood Studios. Woo! Did you join in? No. <laughs> <laughs> no, but you smiled yes. You went, no. <laughs> uh, yes, yeah, so we're going to have a magical, magical day. Hopefully, I mean, I presume we will. We've Does everyone it. have their magic bands? Yes. yes. Yes, are we twinning? No. no. However, let me turn around. We do have some twins here. Ready, steady, go! We're twins! Okay, um, so that's something they've been working on. Um, she, I hope you were really impressed. She's... She's just... Uh, she's learning. Yeah. She's learning. She's um, like a princess in training, would you say? A pre-princess. Yeah. And then add a TTY and then she'll be a pretty princess. Wait, does that mean you're an ugly princess now? <laughs> no, it doesn't. Just a pre-princess, princess in training. Uh, but yes, welcome, welcome, welcome. If you're not a subscriber, then please do subscribe. Like, what's wrong with you? Why haven't you subscribed? Like, girl, what's wrong? Um, yes, uh, hit the like button, give us a thumbs up, we'd love, uh, love that from you. Also drop us a comment in the comment section below, uh, or around, or wherever it is, I think it's below. Um, also, we are on Instagram, at wussy underscore, it'll be written somewhere in the corner. But yes, we look forward to another magical day at Walt Disney World. That was a really good timing, that's two sneezes. Oh, oh my goodness me, I've just realised you're not a pre-princess at all. It's Sneezy from Snow White. see you how is everyone else <laughs> yeah it's just laughing wait a minute that's not sneezy that's happy uh, are you happy now oh no no you look grumpy <laughs> now it's i think it's everyone here mm. yes oh now a little bit bashful a little bit bashful yes <laughs> okay well here we go let's go Here we are, we've arrived at Disney's Hollywood Studios. I think I can see the family in front in their big, big van. Oh yes, they're there, let's go over. I think they are there. I wonder if we can go side by side. I wonder if we can, yes, me we'll too. We'll go here. It's oh, $30. It's $30 to park. to park. Oh, what's this little line on the front? I don't know what the line is. Oh, yes. Is this, oh, but they've got a window $30. open. It says Kentucky, so that's definitely not their oh, van. That's not them. We thought that was them. So, oh, that could oh, be wait. them, though. Them? Could yes, that be that them? Yes, the ridge. Ah, yeah. They're over there. Oh, it's very confusing. Who knew that there'd be so many white school buses? <laughs> like... But here we are. Woo! Amelia, guess what? We're not going to Hollywood Studios today. What? We got you tickets to go see Taylor Swift. No, you didn't. No, we didn't. But you can stream it on Disney Plus anytime for free, as long as you have a membership. Anyway, we're heading over to the entrance. I can see my favorite ride. Do -do 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 -do. Very exciting. Um, we, the twins have separated. Yeah, she's over there. Um, she's over but there. That's fine. But that's fine because I got a new twin. Yeah. Oh my god, we look the same. Yeah. Nice. We're going in. Oh gosh. Oh no. Oh, this is really bad. This is really bad. Um, and I'm not joking. So, um, oh, right, we've just gone through security and we all got through apart from Katie. Um, so she has been taken in for questioning I'm afraid so it's not looking good um, I'm gonna have to speak to the girls and let them know um, that their mum is um, in fact a Disney villain otherwise security wouldn't have taken her um, clearly she tried to get something into the park that she shouldn't have so yes it's very very important but also I'm just thinking ahead I think the girls are gonna have to come and live with us 
Um, so I'm gonna have to sit them down, maybe at the um, I don't know the the sci-fi dining drive-in movie place, and um, let them know that they're gonna have to live with us because Mummy's been taken away for questioning. Yes, it's not looking good at all. Um, not really sure how to explain this to them, and actually just thinking ahead if they live with me, what we're gonna do about school? Gonna have to homeschool them, of course, and. Um, Actually, I'm thinking day one of the lessons probably going to be the history of Disney's Mulan and the importance of Donny Osmond's pop vocals on the song I'll Make a Man Out of You. Yeah, so I'm actually thinking this is quite a good thing because they can learn everything that I know and they're going to know so much about Disney. Yeah, I think this is a good thing. Yeah. Okay, bye sis. Bye. <laughs> Enjoy questioning. Enjoy getting taken away. Bye girl. <laughs> it's my turn. Scan the magic band. Finger on here. Wait for it to go green, and I'm a through! I did it! Woo! We're in, baby! We're in the morning! What, do we get paid? I will! I think I'll actually find that I paid a small fortune uh, to well, come for the indeed. privilege! Yes. So I've made a list. A list of things that we have never done at Hollywood Studios. Yeah. Because it's been new within the last five years. So. We've never been, ever in our whole lives, to Galaxy's Edge. No. Galaxy's Edge opened either on the day or the day after we left in August 2019. It opened on the day we left, yeah. Like 28th of August, did we leave? Something like, so, like yeah. it opened on the day we left. So we've never been in Galaxy's Edge. I've avoided it on YouTube. I've avoided all the rides on YouTube as well. So that's brand new for us. Um, I don't actually know why this got its own thing on the list, but the blue and green milk. Which is part of Galaxy's Edge. I don't even know what that is. Yeah, you can get milk that's like blue or green. I don't really know why, but you can get it. It must be in the film, so we can try that. Um, Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway. We have never done We've it. We've never been on it. We've never done it before. So we're very excited for that. Rest in peace, uh, the great movie ride. Um, the new version of Fantasmic. I think they've added in some new sections, that's TBC. Again, I've avoided it, I don't want any spoilers. No. And um, in Toy Story Land, we've never been to the Rodeo Roundup restaurant. Mm, I think that's what it's called. Um, so we've never been there. I think, I think that's it. I love that Blue and Green Milk got its own mention. Um, I didn't put, you know, all the bit where you can like, make a lightsaber and the rides and stuff <laughs> in there. But for some reason, blue and green milk, that was second on the list. But these are the things that we are, we've are we not done yet. So hopefully we'll do them hopefully today. Hopefully today we'll do them. Yeah, very excited. The uh, TikTok video, or whatever they're doing, is still in action. Where Amelia just pulls Katie around. Uh, but yes, we're coming around there. So you've got your little gas station here. It's old school Hollywood. That is the vibe here. So you can see in the decor, the style, the background music, crossroads of the world. There's a Mickey on top of there. Also a lightning conductor. So poor Mickey gets um, struck by lightning on occasions, possibly, to save us. And here we go. We are walking down, not Main Street USA. I actually don't know what it's called. Is this like Hollywood Boulevard? Not really sure. But here we go, very, very nice, very old school, very Broadway, very 42nd Street, all that kind of stuff. This park was originally set up so it was kind of like taking you behind the scenes of all the movies and how they're made. And then it is kind of in a bit of a midlife crisis, can I say? Where it's like, it's changing section by section. There you go, like the trolley cars, see how like old old-fashioned it is darling the keystone clothes are there you can go down to the left and head around that way straight on takes you takes that you to um one. yes take, take, takes you down there to uh, what used to be the great mover ride that's mickey minnie's runaway railway um but heading around to the right is what will take you to the tower of terror in there i think is star yeah it's starbucks it's just well, kind of it's just not advertised as starbucks yes it is is anybody not yes. going on Tower of Terror? We're all going on Tower of Terror, I think. Yeah. Yes, look. So it says the Trolley Car Cafe, but if you see the gold emblem in the middle, it's actually a Starbucks. It is hidden. So you go, you can get hot and cold espresso drinks, frappuccinos, fresh brewed coffees and teas, plus artisan breakfast sandwiches and specialty pastries. That one says the same. Is he getting anything? 
I you're going to tower terrace, terrace, I'll get something after. Okay, yeah, tower of terror first. Although my head might go, so I might need a drink. Okay. Eek! Eek! Richard! Eek! Oh, guess, eek! Eek! Guess what? I've been looking for my breakfast, but I can't find anything. Yes, Richard's not got anything yet, but eek! Eek! Behind you! It's coming! Look behind you! Look behind you! Wait, wait, wait! Look behind me! Look behind me! It's there! It's there! It's there, right there! Oh! Honestly, the best right, Imagineering ever. Okay, yes, go go for a wee wee. Go for a wee wee. The best Imagineering I've ever discovered, in my opinion. This is the bee's knees. It's much better than the other versions of Tower of Terror that have been in existence. If you've been out, you'll know why, because this one, it goes forward. It's not just a lift ride that goes up and down. And I remember the first time I went on it, um, and yeah, the first time I went on it, I, let me turn you around, sorry. The first time I went on it, I had no idea that it was gonna go forward and backwards. I was blown away, um, absolutely petrified. Genuinely didn't understand how it was working. It was also like an added fear because I thought that a lift, like whoever's running it behind, was gonna go up and down the shaft and like land on top of us. So that was like an unlocked fear that I didn't know I had. You know, that a lift was gonna fall on top of me. Um, but yes, oh, they're just um, going for a wee wee. So I get a bit of extra time here with my babies. There you go. See that I am dressed for the occasion. The theme is a hotel, an old school Hollywood hotel that you're checking into. However, I think it's cursed or something's happened to it because when you go up to the 13th floor, oh dear, it's not gonna go very well, is it? And you're gonna plummet down. It's not just one drop you do, they do multiple drops. And also it's different every single time. It used to be the same pattern of up, down, up, down and things like that. And then they changed it. So now it's randomized. So every time you go on it, you don't know what's gonna happen. On the odd occasion as well, you might go up first rather than down. Are you scared? Are you excited? A bit of both. A bit of both. Have you ever thought about what if the lift behind you falls on top of you? What? Yes, that's a new fear. Think about that when you're on the ride. Because sometimes when you get to the bottom, you have a little waiting period. And when you have the wait period, that's when I used to think that the people behind might fall on top. Enjoy the ride, sweet. Enjoy the ride. Why would you oh! Richard is really confusing me. I keep following him around, trying to work out if I was going to get a drink from here, maybe a margarita. He's not going that way. So where is he going? I think he wanted a drink or something. Here he is. He wanted a drink before going on the ride. You've got plenty of time in the queue to have no, your drink. I don't want this either, but I'll get it. Oh, he's getting a Powerade. It's a 60 minute wait, so naturally I had to get myself a Mickey Premium Bar. So we're very, very excited to have been gifted um, a one night stay here at this lovely hotel. <laughs> Um, we're thrilled to be here. I did promise oh, that I would feel the air con in the hotel. Yeah, it's a really, really lovely, lovely five star hotel. It's relatively new, I believe. As you can see, it's really, really well cared for. I'm not really sure why there's like chains here. It's like we're lining up for something. I don't, don't really get it. Um, must just be for check-in, I presume. But yeah, it's really, really lovely in here. What kind of, what are you expecting from your bedroom? Yeah, I need a really big bed to like stretch and I think and the wee vanity would be nice. Yeah, and maybe we could like go to the spa. I hope there's a spa. Yeah, so we're just going in. What's wrong? Oh. Oh maybe it's maybe cleaners don't work on Tuesdays. <laughs> I'm not guess what's going on here? This isn't this not what I expected. This is no, this is not what I expected. Look, some people are playing a game and then they just they just left it there. There's like cobwebs. That's not cobwebs, right? It must be the theming, yeah? Yeah, because it's really you know Maybe this is like a new thing, you know, like kids of today you know do like new things. Yeah. Helena the cleaner. Yes, Helena the cleaner. Yes. What? Helena, we need to. On vacation? Well, yeah, to be fair, you are on vacation with us. Um, and we just, um, I don't know. It's a bit weird. And there's also like no guests. She always tends to be on vacation these days. There's no guests here, so this is weird. Let's, oh, here, look, someone who works here. Let's go over yeah, let's go in and check in. Let's go check in. Yeah, here we go. Oh, we're, we're through. We're through, so the booking has been confirmed. Great, here we go. Oh, we've been invited into the library. So, um, yeah, very nice facilities here. A little bit darker than what I thought. Again, the cleaner needs to do, do their job. But, um, 
Yeah, yeah overall, yeah, I, you know what, this isn't too bad. This isn't too bad. This is all right, right? We could go get a bird. Yeah, just a new light bulb. Yeah, very dark. Very dark indeed. Okay, that was really weird. So they said we have to use the maintenance service elevator. I'm so confused. And they're just moving us through like cattle. I don't understand what's happening here. I thought this was a five star hotel, like along the lines of the low What's going on? What's happening? Guys? Guys? <laughs> Okay, things are looking a little bit better. This lovely lady just spoke to us and she said that we're going to go in and our row are going to go in first. So we're going in now. It's a really, really lovely, lovely elevator. And um, yeah, I'm really happy. Very nice seating. Very nice seating. Just going to put our seatbelts on left to right. I'm not really sure why we've got seatbelts on in an elevator. <laughs> but um, yeah, really looking forward to it. What could go wrong? <laughs> Now the merch, um, and I'm proud to say that I already own this. Woo, I'm so cool. Well, I normally go to rituals for my diffuser, but up here I can get frog's breath. I'm thinking of getting it for the for the in-laws. What do we think? I think we can all relate to this after a long day of work. Out of order. Honestly, there is just something so so special about that ride. I think because it was one of the first, what I would say, proper, proper scary rides that I went on when it first opened. I can't remember exactly when it opened or how old I was, but I do remember being genuinely petrified, but also genuinely amazed at the fact that this was a ride in a theme park. Like, yeah, the work and the design and just the whole concept of it completely blew me away the first time. So it's also very, very nostalgic for me to kind of keep going on the ride. The whole thing, the whole setup of it, you know, it's just amazing and even better, I'll see if you kind of come at night as well when all the mood lighting comes into effect to really kind of set it beforehand. It really is like just top, top notch. Um, see how long the wait is now, it was 60 minutes. Oh, it's come down 10 minutes. So it's now 50 minutes to go on the ride. I would happily go on that again and again and again, all day, every day, forever and ever. No, I'm not kidding, I love it that much. Uh, we're right next to Rock and Roller Coaster here, so maybe we'll go on that next, I don't know. Let's see what we get up to. Yes, it's a 35 minute wait, that's not too long at all. We're gonna go on Rock and Roller Coaster. Look how this turns into the track, all the way over there to the main entrance. I love it, it's so good. Are you excited, Wichita Girl? I'm excited, la 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 la. Amelia, are you excited to go upside down? Scared and excited. Scared and excited, that's correct. That's the feeling. Oh, in the queue. It's coming, it's coming. Everyone's just getting in the super stretch level. Um, Indeed, so just waiting. We did just see one of the cars shoot up and we're waiting for the next one to go. So hold the line caller. I'll be with you in a moment. Here we go. The best bit is when it counts down. Five, four, three, two, one. And then you'll shoot forward into darkness. And the first thing you'll do is go upside down. And then the music is blaring out the speakers either side of your ears. And it's so, so good. Now the reason for the ride, if you don't know, is because we're running late for the Aerosmith concert. And it's gonna be very, very busy, lots and lots of traffic. So they arranged for us to have this um, super stretch, very fast limo. All lanes are open, so floor it. The freeway's jammed. So we're gonna take our own 
our own route. So that's going to go any second. The next people are getting ready. We're just going to check radio for traffic info. I'm sure we're going to be ready to go any moment now. We'll just take a Here we go. There they go. Please bear in mind you should not drive at this speed in real life. Are you excited? Ooh. We're off. We're off. And here with our fans. We're right at the concert. Woo! Did you have fun? Was it good? Was it good? Woo! Well, in the gift shop at Rock and Roller Coaster, you know what I wasn't expecting to see? A witcher de grub. There he is. In this amazing retro oh, hello there. What would you like a cup of tea or would you like a squash? Cup of tea or a cup of squash? Squash free, a cup of tea, a spa darling. Oh thank you. Yes, it's a very retro design. Okay, there. Now, Let's see, see your backpack again. Oh gosh. Let's see your backpack again. Well, it's there. full on like uh, retro World Disney World. Or that does have the modern icons. I'm back. Yee. So apparently it's been pouring with rain whilst we've been in the ride. Oh, that's good timing because it stopped. So the floor is wet. Oh gosh, it's very, very humid. I'm not going to lie. But yes, uh, that's actually, I guess, good timing that whilst we've been inside, finishing off the line and then going on the ride itself, you can see that it is wet, it is rain, but we did not need to get out our ponchos because We've um, yeah, we've avoided the rain, so we've done really, really well. Everyone's coming out of the shop now, so I don't know if we're going to sit down and get a drink, or if I've just made that up based on my own personal preference. So yes, we'll carry on going around and see what we get up to next. We missed the rain, yeah, we missed the rain, yay! Well, we've just come to Hollywood Scoops Ice Cream, and Widget de Grub has got the Mickey Brownie Sunday. What a huge! It's massive. It is very big. Mm. We were going to get one each and then I saw the size of it and thought, no, we're going to share that. So, mmm, took into that, my darling. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Oh, up, darlings, up. We've got some storm clouds coming. They've just crept upon us, even though it has just rained. So we're going to, um, we're also, it's really, really hot today, like really hot. So we are going to head um, across the way in the direction of Muppets. Uh, and we're going to go to Rizzo's. I can't remember if it's just called Rizzo's restaurant or what. It used to be Pizza Planet, so in our hearts it's Pizza Planet that's been rethemed. We're going to go there, there's only loads of seats upstairs. It's very, very hot today, so we're going to sit upstairs, appreciate the AC, have some more refreshments because, I mean, as much as we love the rides, we also love some of the Disney refreshments. So we're going to go sit there and get out of the store. Whoa! We've been needing a breeze all day. We're getting a breeze. Whoa, can you hear it? The storm is coming. We're starting to get pitter patters of rain. Florence has been picked up. We're um, pegging it across. Get as fast as we can, but we can't go too fast, darlings. Uh, but we're going as fast as we can. Uh, oh, here comes more rain. It's coming. The thick rain, the thick Florida rain is coming. So, sorry, Frozen. Sing along celebration, we're not going in there. We're crossing this way. It says drop anchor for a snack. No, we haven't got time for that. We're gonna go past this way. Into Joe straight ahead. Oh my gosh, here it comes! And the park is descending into madness! Run for your lives! Run for your lives! Ah, it's really strong! Whoa! Oh, oh no! Where I have no poncho, look at it! Oh, we didn't make it to the restaurant. And there you go, we tried and we failed. We did it! Oh! Where's Florence? Do we have, oh look, mum and dad are there getting ponchos out onto that little umbrella. Oh. Okay, it's stopped. We have had a momentary pause. We can hear thunder, we can see lightning. The poncho, mum's had a chance. Got her poncho on. Whoa, there was just some big lightning up there. Okay. Oh, we can do this. Run, Witchetty Grub. 
Rum, everyone! Come on! Pizza Rizzo! That's it, we're going to Pizza Rizzo, just opposite Muppet Vision 3D. Hello, Miss Piggy Statue, we haven't got time to meet you. Oh, quickly, get inside! Get inside! Get inside! We made it, we made it, we're in. We're actually going to do the mobile pickup order so we don't have to get into this queue. But this is Pizzeria, which is, of course, an Italian themed pizza restaurant. Like I said earlier, it is themed or used to be themed to Pizza Planet. And now it's an Italian restaurant. Watch out for the water on the floor, darlings. It has been raining. Well, should I say, it is still chucking it down. But yes, if we come up here, I can see the family there. Let's follow them. Here we go. There are loads of seats. Um, this side, side is busy, but then if you come over this way, look how empty it is. Lots of options. Hello, Wichita Grub. Well done for making it in out of the storm. How do you feel? I feel good. Good. And the aircon is cold. nice. Cold. Because the aircon is cold. But here we are. Pizza is all lovely. And I can hear an Italian man singing at me. Ta da! Our food has arrived. Wichita Grub got the mushroom pizza. I've got the uh, pepperoni and sausage pizza. They both come with a side of um, a small Caesar salad, or you could add carrots. I've got a Joffrey's coffee with some creamers. We've got a Diet Coke to share. They didn't do Coke Zero. And then Wichita Grub has got a hot cocoa, but I don't know if this is just hot milk, because we've got a couple of sachets of hot cocoa from Joffrey's. So it looks as if he may have to like pour it in. I guess he can get the own, he like the strength to his requirement. And then also we got a, is it cannoli? think it's some of that so we're gonna try it's massive so we're gonna share that as well yes we're being little piggies so we don't know what's happened but mama and papa have got these two little cupcakey muffin things that have come um, but they didn't actually order these um, so um, we've looked on the app because we ordered through mobile pickup and it's not even an option to order so we haven't got someone else's order so we think that they've just been surprised part of the Disney magic and they've both got a couple of little, I don't know, vanilla cakes? They're like vanilla sponges with light cream on top. Well, they've both got these. Thanks, Mickey. Oh. Okay, we're going to cut into the cake. Here we go. Oh, that went through easily, didn't it? Oh, there you go. Just a lovely light, I'm presuming, vanilla sponge. My mum is going to have some and she's going to report back on the flavour. What do you think it is, Mummy? It's vanilla. It's vanilla! Woo! Free vanilla cake! Yes, take it all, take it all, Papa. Well, the weather has cleared up a little bit. It's still cloudy, but uh, it's actually a nice, cooler, cool atmosphere. We're going to go into Muppets 3D! Wow, okay, we were literally last call. We're the last ones in. You got your glasses? We've missed the pre show. The Oh, where's my glasses, please? You want some glasses? I got the glasses. Okay. Oh, batch of color, batch of color, batch of color. No, 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 dear. Not That's proper not a Come on. Let's go in. We're in. Look how big the auditorium is. It's very big. I feel like I'm at the Palladium, darlings. I'm not going to film the show. This is you the can Palladium. watch it online, I'm not no sure. Idea. Yes, but we're going to watch Muppet Vision 3D. <gasps> it started. They're up. Can you see them? Can you see them there? They're starting. Well, you've got to love a bit of Muppet Vision 3D. Fun time. The only thing I would say is we were sat quite far back. We three were. On the back. I don't think the 3D works quite as well. So I would recommend, just going to put this in the bin here. Um, they like the bin to get like sterilised and reused, not a proper bin. Um, I would say better to sit maybe, maybe more like towards the middle because then all the 3D effects like when the character bats on the head and bubbles and you get Indeed. splashed with water, sorry, spoiler, um, all those effects are really good. Sure. Don't go on the front row because when the character is like bouncing on people's heads you need people in front of you for that effect to work. Correct. So middle of the auditorium for like 3D shows like that, we're a bit too far back but overall it's yeah, very it's good, it's very good and I still think the jokes and the writing works really well, especially um, the characters in the corner in the box, I can't remember their names, I'm so sorry. Uh, but yeah, very very good as always. 
This is it, we're going into oh, Star Wars so Galaxy Bad. So five years ago we used to stand here looking out this way and it was all fenced off. But now yeah. it's, open. it's open. So we've never ever been in here. I've never watched it on YouTube. So I don't really have a clue what's gonna happen. But we're going through the tunnel. I don't know if it's got a name. There's like a logo thing at the top. But this is going into Galaxy's Edge which I think is combining different years of Star Wars. I don't really know. Something to do with Star Wars, and I think it's like all of the different eras combined. I don't know. We shall find out. It's not the eras tour. It's not the eras tour, but ooh. straight away you can see the rock work changing. The bins are themed to Star Wars. The flooring has changed to like dirt tracks. It's a little bit Animal Kingdom-y, I guess. I thought that. The rock work, there. Oh, look, the lighting has changed, so the imagining is great. Oh, yeah. We're in like a completely different place that's behind me. Rock work there. Woo! Yeah, feels like I've gone into like an Animal Kingdom type vibe, a bit Pandora-esque. Well, the parasols are all funny shaped. Yes, I do like the lights. Massive fans. That looks like a queue for something. I don't know what, because I've never been here. Coca-Cola over there. Oh, so this first ride on the left is a 60 minute wait in the standby. This is the entrance to Rise of the Resistance, which I think is the big, big ride. That's the Lightning Lane entry. Well, we don't have Lightning Lane. Millennium Falcon, which ah, is 65 yes. minutes. Millennium Falcon yeah. must be somewhere over that way, I think by looking around but yes oh this is so weird in the best way possible it's brand new for us anyway so excited Ooh. we're a few minutes into the ride and it's my first star wars waterfall oh look another one wowzers oh my god it was epic that was so good it was so good i've deliberately been avoiding all of the spoilers um, so anytime it's come up on other vlogs like the footage of the ride I've immediately skipped because I, I wanted to ride it for my first time in real life with my own eyes yeah. you only get to do something for your first time once so I didn't film it I didn't vlog it I wanted to take it all in properly without looking through a screen it was so it good was so and also immersive. there was like loads of elements that like it was like oh there's this element then there's this element then there's yeah. this element I mean, if you wow. if you want to skip this and you don't want any spoilers, then this is your warning now. Just skip forward a bit. Um, but, yeah, the fact that a lot of the queue line, um, it feels like the ride starts a lot earlier than it actually does because yeah. the theming of the queue and, like, what happens to you is so good. It feels like the experience has already started. And so also, it's, it, 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 you, like, go through an outside bit into an indoor bit. like. Yeah different versions of that. The, the bit going outside like blew me away really that I was in a queue then these doors opened and all of a sudden I was outside but still part of the queue but not in a traditional queue sense like then we went on this um we went on a, like a, a ship um and I thought oh we're just gonna the doors gonna open the other side and we're gonna go out the other side and really we haven't gone anywhere but actually we went out the way that we came in but we were in a different place and also like so the like, scale did, of it yeah it's like where did we move to how All did we the move set and everything i'd love and, to like, see like how wow. that works and i will have to have a look on youtube and see if i can find out like oh uh, yeah there if will someone's be done a clever on video on how that works like where did we go yeah then all those stormtroopers i i'd seen a bit of the stormtrooper bit online no you see i thought the stormtroopers in a were part of the ride yeah but that's like all part of the setup yeah yeah um but the scale oh my god it's epic is epic and also like the the, the trackless system is cool as well because you don't you i saw of looked on the floor a little bit as well you can't find out where you're going yeah there's like all the marks of like different things and the fact that there was like two vehicles and we kind of started off together but then we yeah. went different we split up and then we'll see them later that bit that turned into like tower of terror oh i didn't know whether you were going to mention I, that no that's bit no that's why i said about spoilers so like that's why i said like when we moved up i went oh my god it's turned into tower yeah. of terror i didn't know we were going to change levels and stuff stuff. like so good and obviously yeah. all the effects it's yeah. really good isn't it like I thought that was that it was, was excellent. So and again, good. the ending coming back oh my to finish outside. outside that I was, was like, definite, wow. Yeah. Our only problem is when we did and come still outside. Yeah, yeah, when we came outside, oh, yeah. we had to get the ponchos on. It was chucking it down with rain. So oh, no. we've walked through this marketplace. So I'll film that at some point in cool time. We've kind of had a wander through. It stopped raining now. So the rest of the family have gone this way, I think towards the Millennium Falcon. So we're going to check that out. Oh, yeah. 
there Oh yes. Oh, there's Mummy. Hello. She's sitting there. Oh, so I'm sitting outside there. Oh, but this is it, guys. This is my first ever time seeing the Millennium Falcon. Wow. This is like a tourist spot and a half, isn't it? Everyone's standing around getting their pictures. Wow, that's iconic. I can see these like high rock turret things from like outside the park, but I haven't seen what's on the inside. Let's follow, follow Wichita de Guob down the wet stairs. 85 minutes. 85, oh, so then, so technically, this is, either, this is either a slower loading system or it's a more popular ride. So yeah, just because it's got a longer time doesn't necessarily mean it's more popular. It might mean that the queue isn't as, I mean, that is as literally know, fast epic. flowing. Oh yeah, single ride. Oh, so that is the entrance there yeah. to, what's that? Millennium Falcon, is it called Millennium Falcon? Oh, Smuggler's Run, isn't it? Oh yeah, Smuggler's Run. Yes, again, sorry, because I've not been on it before, the name said, oh, there's a ship on top of that building. Oh yeah. Wow. It's pretty epic, isn't it? Yeah. I am. Um, we, d I don't, we don't watch all of the Star Wars films, so I don't know every single reference. I've seen enough. I've maybe seen four or five of them over the years, um, all in a different order. But yeah, very immersive. And the flooring changes style. Oh, it's really good. We'll have to get a picture in front of this. Very good. <gasps> What's happening? Is it taking off or just making sound effects? Just making noises and lighting. Wow. It's so cool here. So we've just been on Smuggler's Run for our first time. Now, I'm going to start this by saying, if you um, haven't been on it and you don't want any spoilers, then skip past this. Skip, skip. But also, I am going to say, I'm a very, very, very big Disney fan, obviously. Otherwise, I wouldn't be here vlogging it all, obsessed with Disney, blah, blah, blah. But I also do have to be, like, completely honest. And it is quite a harsh critique, I guess. Genuinely, I think that's one of my, like, the least fun I've had in a long, long time. Again, just my opinion. That is a simulator ride slash video game, which for me, I thought was really boring. I had no interest in it at all. I'm just sitting there pressing buttons when it flashes up. I just was bored and I, I didn't care for it at all. Like, literally the opposite. Rise of the Resistance was like, it felt groundbreaking. I liked that I was actually traveling and moving in different zones. And like, I, I really, really enjoyed that. The idea behind that, the concept, it felt really put out. This just felt like I was on a, a simulator ride in a really small cabin, pressing buttons. And I genuinely didn't care about my assignment. I didn't even know my what turn. my assignment was. <laughs> it, it was I, I appreciated it for what it was. I agree with Wussy in terms of like the funness, like, however, I, I do think that if I was like a proper gamer and into my games, I'd have really enjoyed it. But I am into video games, I love No, video no, games. but like if you if you play games all the time and you, you have that mindset where you're like into, do, into gadgets love, and games. But I, but I genuinely wow. love, I love video games, but I don't want to come to a theme park and basically go and do a video game. I thought it's, it was well Which done, is different though. from things yeah. like Buzz Lightyear. Space Ranger Spin, I know that's got shooting and getting points. It just it's a bit more like fun and whimsical. Fair and enough. the same with like Midway Mania. Apart from my arm aching on that ride, that's a good like I think you're getting points and it feels fun. And there's points on this but it was a bit confusing. I think I what also didn't help is uh, again, no offence, whoever uh, kind of set us up beforehand didn't really explain anything to us. So I think that was the downfall. Yeah. Because our family they had somebody else and apparently she explained it really well and got them really excited by it. Whereas ours was like, this is what you're going to get. You're this, you're that. It goes up, down, that way, off you go. It was very basic and I was like, yeah. I don't even know what our mission is. And normally Disney's really good at like setting up the backstory, yeah. knowing what we're there for, what is the mission, what's going on. Let's start walking. Um, well, no, because I think I want and this, I, d I don't know. Thing, I didn't, which I think is over there. So. Oh, I don't know. But I did, everyone else on here, but I didn't, I didn't know. Yeah, I didn't know what was going on, so I, I think I would like to do it again because I, I do know some people have said that if you have good pilots it makes a difference if they know what they're doing, whereas we have mum and dad and of course understandably, <laughs> no but understandably they've never been on before so they didn't know what they were doing. Um, 
and I think there's, I don't know if they've done it yet, but there's supposed to be different storylines at some point, although I didn't know what the storyline was. I, I do want to give it another go because I'll, you know, like I said, big Disney fan. I want to enjoy it. I want to, it to make sense. So maybe it was just a bad first experience. To be fair, a bit like, um, you know, Mission Space at Epcot. Um, I see a lot online. It's not necessarily everyone's favourite thing to do. I kind, there, of, but I, don't know I kind of think of it like that. It's a bit like Mission Space. Like I could easily not go on that again. Yeah, fine. Sorry. Sorry. Whereas the other one was brilliant. Yeah, Rise of Resistance. I could go back on that any time, but I could I could delete that ride and put a boat ride in. So there's a show going on. I think with Darth Vader and the Stormtroopers. But we found. Come with me. Here we found. Look, the blue milk and the green milk so what's it say bubble wampa so family one. farms cup yeah we'll get one of each from here oh look they're all all in these balls oh look it's bubbling away in there the milk <laughs> something's going on um so yes we're going to check this out oh what's the other what's that they do there oh they've got what's this Holly starch puff bread croissants topped with blue and green milk quackulian served with yuzu passion fruit coconut dipping sauce and this tenu swirl crunchy syrup topped with raspberry jelly and mini rainbow crunchy candies hmm. straight in with the blue and green right we're gonna try which one am i trying first or well, that one i don't know and i'll try this one okay try the green oh, you try on. the blue and we'll have, Ready, a, we'll have a sip and a review Oh, it's like, I mm. thought it was going to taste like milk. That's nice. It's like, um, it's like a slushy. Yeah, it's like a, um... It's like I can taste tiny, tiny little frozen bits of ice. I used to have them when I was at, at high school. It's like that yogurty, slushy texture in it. What? Right. Why? It's weird. I don't really know. Let's try the blue one. Oh, I smelt it like it's another smelly. John! Oh, I do smell something a bit. Oh, I don't like that one. Oh, I think I prefer the blue. Prefer oh, yeah, so we agree. Yeah. Oh. I wonder what, um, I can't remember it's what... Annoying. It doesn't tell you what flavours they are. Yeah. We also got... We also yeah, it's got weird. The... I, thought, I thought it was going to taste more like flavoured milk, like a milkshake or something. I don't know what you can see on the thing. Or butterberry. We also got these. Oh, yeah, these you can just croissant, about see them. Those croissant things. And they've got, like, oh. green and blue underneath. Oh, I didn't know they had the fun... Oh, yeah, they have the kind of dipped in the... Which is like this is like coconut passion fruit thing. I Dipped think. in the in the blue and green milk. Here. What is it? Let's have a look. Oh, it smells amazing. What is it? Let me smell. It, mm, it's like a passion fruity, coconutty thing. I suppose I'll, I'll try. Something. I'm gonna try this. Here yeah. we go. Dip, you can dip it in. I have it plain first. Like a croissant. Yeah, fine. Standard croissant. Standard croissant. Oh, it's all quite different. <laughs> Can you feed me some, please? Because I'm holding the camera and I'm holding the drink. So. Okay. <clears throat> I thought I'd like it better than I do. The croissant's very nice, very soft. <laughs> I don't really know what well, it I is. Thought, I thought the croissant could be like lighter. A croissant's lighter than that. That's like a doughy, it's like a doughy, stodgy croissant. Yeah, stodgy, but it's nice. Yeah, I'm not saying it is stodgy, it's just stodgier. <laughs> Than a, than a typical croissant. This one, I presume, won't taste as good because we prefer the blue milk. Are you gonna feed me some? I want some, don't I? I mean, the sauce is nice, but I'm not rushing to eat any of more of it. Mm. Yeah, my review is, I wouldn't buy any of this again. Oh gosh, I'm so sorry, I'm being really negative. But, um, no, but the blue one's nice. I like the blue one. But I wouldn't buy this again. Not like, where's like butterbeer? I'm like, oh, butterbeer. Oh, yeah, butterbeer's good. This I don't drink and go, oh, you've got to try it. I genuinely wouldn't recommend this to anyone. But because it's here, I'm going to drink it. Yeah, we're, having it, I mean? we're having it for the experience because we're here. But I wouldn't, I wouldn't go, oh, my God, you've got to have this. No. Not bothered. Sorry. The force is with the family. Here they are. Getting their group shots with their lightsabers. I'm gonna see if they wanna see if they wanna try a little leftovers. 
Did you have fun? Yeah! Did you have fun? Do you want to try? Try this is like croissant dipped in blue and green. Blue and green. Give me your review. Anyone want to try? They go a bit of croissant. Did you love it? Did you love it? It's all right. Do you try some? It's not milk. No. It's like slush. It tastes like a bit like slushy. Like a slush. It's like slush puppy, bluey green milky. What do you think of it, Paul? I don't really know what it is. Olivia. Tastes like a Do you like it? You can have that, yeah. Did you swap over and try each other's flavours? Let us know if you prefer the blue or the green. The blue or the green? The blue is much better. The blue has got a raspberry kick, this has got a vanilla kick. And you prefer? The blue. Yes, we said the blue. So blue has won. 4-0. It's got loads in and that. It's got just a little bit in. Oh, oh yeah, right. we oh. gave it away. We sipped it a lot. Okay, reviews are in. Blue for the win. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, yeah. It's very popular outside the cantina. We're not going in there today. I think that's where you get drinks. Um, so, yeah, it's like they keep calling out people's like numbers or names or something. So, um... Yeah, that's back to the Millennium Falcon Smuggler's Run. That's the cantina. And if you go down there, you get your photos done on the left. Go down that way, and that's where the show was when we got the blue green milk. So we're going to keep heading around this way and see Toy where Story we end up. Land. Ah, this way must be to Toy Story Land. Oh, look. You see the stormtroopers? They're walking around. Don't be too scared. Oh, they're talking to people. Oh, Paul's getting a selfie with them. He's getting a selfie with them there. There he is, Stormtrooper coming through. <laughs> coming through. <laughs> so I think we found the other way out, slash the other way in, depending on where you, which way you're going. There's restrooms here. There's a little area with some droids hanging around. And then it looks like if you keep going straight down here, I think this is magically going to transform into Toy Story Land. Well, just a slight change of style and colour scheme. As we come round the corner, you've you met with the vibrancy of Buzz Lightyear's swirling saucers with the alien. Well, alien swirling saucers is the ride. Buzz Lightyear's there in the front. I presume the flooring is going to kind of magically change it's gradually changing into toy story land here you see on the right so yes now we're into full-on disney vibrant colors oh big big footprint on the floor so andy must be around playing with his toys so here we go i wonder if we can go on slinky dog dash go on swirling sources it's 40 minutes there um, oh, sorry, that was really bad. Really bad camera skills, I was turning around. Um, it's not actually sunny enough for sunglasses as well, which is quite interesting, because I've normally always got my sunglasses on. Have you ever seen restrooms that are as fun, as colourful as these? I don't think you have. Oh, there you go, there's Slinky Dog Dash going by. Our first glimpse just going by. We'll get a better view in a bit. Which he goes on FaceTime with his modern pa. Right, we were going to go on Slinky, but it's an 80 minute wait, it went up from 60 to 80. Uh, we've realised that's the same length as, you know, a Disney animation uh, film, so we thought we'll um, soften the blow, get the girls some ice cream. So I've got the um, Mickey ice cream sandwich, yeah, very, very, very healthy, very nutritious, uh, treated the girls as well. Uh, so we're all, we're all kind of talking into these whilst discussing what we're going to do next. I think we'll do Slinky Dog Dash another day or another time. Wait. Here comes Slinky! Whee! Such a fun ride. Are we going to see it come round here maybe? Yeah, there we go. Whee! So we love Slinky. We'll go on Slinky another day. It's still quite like, it's kind of like a really, really cloudy and humid day. Over this way, I can see what we've not done yet. I don't think we're going to do it today, but who knows? Roundup Rodeo, uh, when we're pointing there, you can see the archway. That is brand new. We've never done that before, so we're very excited. Hello, Jesse. 
Hello Woody. This is the entrance to Toy Story Mania on the uh, Midway Games playset. Are we getting in line for a photo? I don't know. The Famalam is just discussing what to do. Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway is closed and I wanted to on that, go on that ride but it's been closed all day I think. Here comes Slicky! Oh, the full name is Roundup Rodeo Barbecue. Giddy up for barbecue! So at some point we will definitely go in there. Now I have to say, I know we haven't gone on anything in Toy Story Land. We will go on everything at some point, I promise you. This is where, um, you know I said earlier, the park, I feel like the park has like two kind of themes. I don't know. You see here, you can see like the big, big, big buildings. It used to be made up of, it. I think it was like in studios. So you go to like sound stage one and like studio two, sound stage three, and it was all like different things happened in all the different like buildings. Uh, and the buildings themselves weren't really themed. It was all about what was going on inside as you stepped into the movies and went behind the scenes. Now, of course, all of the newer stuff, like Toy Story Land, going into Galaxy's Edge. Oh, there's Buzz. Hey, Buzz. All of that stuff, turn you around. Um, it, that's almost a different thing. It's come almost like that's like immersive land. So you're kind of you're you're kind of stepping into the movies. You're immersed in the movies. So that's what they started doing with their trend of Toy Story Land and Galaxy's Edge. Like you are in Star Wars, you're in Toy Story. Whereas these ones, everything's kind of been separated buildings in a way. So I think at some point it's going to filter through. They have said they're going to do Monsters Inc. I don't know if it's called Monsters Inc. Land or what's called. So they're doing that next somewhere in Hollywood Studios. So we're waiting to find out where that's going to be. Um, so. I think they're eventually going to transform the whole park so it's all like immersive lands based on very very popular franchises. So I don't think Voyage of the Little Mermaid has reopened yet that's having like a show change like a show refurb or something that's that's changing. The dance party is in this big studio here this sound stage. There's a Star Wars launch bay. This is like excuse me yes breaking news yes Chewbacca is down there. Oh Richard wants to go meet Chewbacca who is down there for meet and greet. Um, this, yeah, this is the entrance of the dance party. This is the rumour for what is going to be t uh, become Monsters Inc. Land. As if the big building is going to go there, this will be the big Monsters Inc. courtyard. Uh, will they then turn this kind of dance studio party show thing uh, experience into part of Monsters Inc. theme? I don't know. It's just a rumour. By the time I've edited this vlog it's gone live, we might know the answer. But the rumour as of today is that this will be the next section to change so yes I see I guess we don't need a Star Wars launch bay because now we've got Galaxy's Edge so it makes sense for this to go next plus also you've gone from Galaxy's Edge over to Toy Story Land and then the next land could be Monsters Inc and we can eventually make our way all around until the whole park has been filled in <laughs> we're about to meet you back at which the Grub has made us wait 25 minutes to meet Chewbacca. He doesn't even watch Star Wars. He just loves... I love Chewbacca. He loves Chewbacca. Why? I'm so excited. Why do, why do you like Chewbacca? I just love Chewbacca. Because he goes... Oh, no. I can't do it. Paul? Paul? Do the noise. That's not quite it either. Sorry about the violence, everyone. Oh, Chewbacca! <laughs> Hi Chewbacca! Wow! Very tall. Hello! Hi! Hello! Hello! What do you think girls? Big boy! Whoa! <laughs> Hello Chewbacca! Hello! Hello! Let's get a photo! We did it! I met Chewbacca! Which you go up, got a photo, we did a group photo, and then Wish you got, got a photo all by himself oh, with well. Chewbacca. He was like, I love you, Chewbacca, and Chewbacca was like, oh. Can't do it. There he is. Guys, it's me and Chewbacca. Hello. Hello, which did go up? This Hello, is, Chewbacca. This is the best photo of of my life. That looks like us on our engagement. Yeah, that looks like you. Sure. Hey guys, it's me, we'll see. And it's me, which did you Thank you. The Familia. I you annoying. The, <laughs> the Familia have gone and yes. we have just got a picture outside Mickey and Minnie's runaway, runaway, 
runaway what railway. Oh jeez. Which is closed still all day, but we've got, we've got a photo all day. We've got a photo. Yeah, we've yeah. had our pictures there. We are going to head this way. We're going to go to Star Tours mainly because it's only a ten-minute wait. So our plan is to do some of the things that have shorter wait times Correct. in the hope that in the next few hours the things that we really really want to do um, that have currently got longer wait times they will die down indeed uh, because we're now basically filling our time until, until fantasmic. fantasmic tonight at nine Woo! well i've not seen this before mickey mouse and minnie mouse in vacation fun which is here it's an original animated short uh, it's starting in five minutes, so me and Wichita Grub are going to go in here. Well, this is a cute little red-themed theatre. Mickey and Minnie in vacation fun. Not really sure where we're going. Looks like we're going all along the back. No, this is um, accessible seats, I think. We'll go, go round and then we'll find a seat round here. I like all the whistling. Come on, Wichita Grub. Let's watch Mickey and Minnie! Yes, lovely seats in the middle. This is just right. How cute is that? I've just seen that all the backs of the seats are like Mickey Mouse. I love it. That's really clever. Well, that was cute. If you've ever watched the um, shorts that they have on Disney Plus, you may recognise this little panda. You may remember Yodel, 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 yodel bird. <laughs> and you may remember Potato Land. <laughs> um, so, what they happened, uh, what happens, I won't give away like, the storyline, but uh, yeah, it's almost like a combination of elements of the shorts that they have on Disney Plus. And they've linked it all together with oh, the theme really of. Cute. Yeah, with the theme of going on vacation. So, um, if you think about, I don't know, is it, I'm sure it's like episode one of season one. Um, which is set in France and Minnie's run out of baguettes and she works at the baguette shop uh, and of course it's set in France so um, they take little moments from, from all these different countries and put it together it's like memories from different vacations that Mickey and Minnie have had together whilst they're creating uh, well, they're, they're kind of packing aren't they to go on a new vacation yeah it's really cute so it's really cute so it's bits that I recognise and then bits that I haven't seen as well so that's really nice and it was what five minutes long? it was five so minutes it was, minutes, it was yeah. Yeah, seven and a half yeah <laughs> Five minutes to be ten minutes to seven and a half. <laughs> I would say that was between five to seven minutes. And look, no, so it's very, very cute. A nice way to get out of the sun as well. Very good. Get into way. the aircon and have a chill. But yes, we're making our way around now. This is where we were heading. So this is Star Tours. This is the original like Star Wars themed ride before they um down here is the way to Muppets which goes through to Galaxy's Edge so before they did all that if you wanted your Star Wars fix this is where you came it's a simulator ride it's got a 25 minute wait so we're gonna go in here um, I, I don't know part of me is thinking I wonder if at some point this will close because we do have Galaxy's Edge now down there so I go on it as many times as I can when I'm here yeah uh, because I just don't know how much longer it'll be here that's not a spoiler I have no idea oh there's a nice breeze coming from the fan yeah, let's go on this. Well, that was fun. I thought that was really good fun. What do you, I want to know, which to go up. We haven't, haven't spoken about this. What do you think be, be, um, between that, yeah. Star Tours and Smuggler's Run, which is of course the new Well, Smuggler's Run, simulator. like the quality of the ride and the quality of like the equipment and the, 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 the queue and everything like that is like obviously new and improved and feels fresh. Whereas obviously that one feels dated. Um, it's tricky because I feel like although they're both simulator rides. Simulator, not si stimulator. <laughs> Sorry, simulator. I've gone tired. Yeah. Although they're both simulator rides, I, I, uh, they're very different. But what, what's better? Like if you're going to keep one and lose the other one. If you lost all the buttons on the new one, then the new one. But if you kept, if you, if you kept the buttons, then that one. Because I feel like that one you just sit there and, and get involved in. Whereas that the new one you've got to sit there and press buttons which distracts I was, you. I was thinking because I was comparing because they are... Oh yes, we've got our water. Dus, Dasani water. Um, I I was sitting there thinking, oh, because I thought basically Smuggler's Run is supposed to be like an up, yeah, like an upgrade. New technology should be a better version of Star Tours. Yeah. I guess it is. I it guess, is. like technology-wise. But... 
I enjoyed I enjoyed Star Tours more. I think because yeah, like I said, because I'm not pressing the buttons and all that stuff. Oh, I get that. I'm yeah. Also, I'm not reliant on other people to then imp have an impact on how good my experience is. I understand that. Um, whereas Star Tours, like now, what can change is this Star Tours. They've got different um, different storylines, different versions of what happens. So that one, The Mandalorian, was in it and Grogu, which made sense yes. to me because. I've actually been watching The Mandalorian, so I know who Grogu was, and I knew what I knew the characters. I think because I don't, I haven't watched all of Star Wars. We feel a little bit out. Yeah, I see characters and go, "Oh, you don't mean anything to me." So basically, so I don't get ex as excited. Yeah. So if you're a Star Wars fan, do not watch this vlog. <laughs> no, I think I just I think similar people say different think things about different things. I don't know why. For some reason, I don't feel like Star Wars is Disney. It just doesn't feel Disney to me. Um, I kind of wish that Harry Potter. And all the magic of Harry Whoa. Potter was a Disney thing. Big statement right there. I don't know. I think Star Wars is just a bit too much like battle -y. Like it's a bit fighty and like attacking sorry. and so. Well, this is a conversation. Whereas Harry, po Harry Potter is more like magical fantasy wands and sorcery. Sure. sure. Which feels more Disney to me. Sure. Sorry guys, that's just my opinion. Um, but yes, we are going to. Do you want to head over to Toy Story Land? Let's go to Toy Story Land, baby. Yeah. Let's head over See that what way. See what we can do. See what we do. Right. It's quarter to eight. So we're going to head into Alien Swirling Sources. It says it's 30 minutes. Let's see how long it actually takes, shall we? There we go. It's been 23 minutes and 24 seconds. And I'm following which you do go up to get on. So not quite as long as it said. But here we are. Just going to squeeze in. Look at our pilot. Safety first, please, Richard. Oh, oh no, did you pick your finger? I got it in my finger. Oh, dear. But here we go, this is our pilot, hello! Hello! One of the aliens! And we're going to be going on the ride now. Okay, let's go! Whoa! Getting quite fast now, getting quite choppy. Whoa! Are you having fun, Richard? Yeah! Yeah! <laughs> well, there you go, 26 minutes and 46 seconds, and we're off! So it's definitely not 30 minutes, uh, which is good. Oh look, there's Slinky! Woo! We need to go on that one. Uh, so whether we'll go on that next, I don't know. But I really like that ride. It's I very simple. You don't, you don't want to queue too long for it. But it's quite whippy. It's fun. The music's good. Um, yeah, perfect for like Toy Story. I, I, can't yeah. put it in my bag. I know it's not dark, dark yet, but I have to say, Toy Story Land really does come alive at night we love it also we've realized if you come in from that way um so you, you're coming in from like the little mermaid direction um it feels like everything like is facing you the angles of the boxes and the angles of things so it feels like the correct way i think the way we came earlier I don't oh, feel yeah. the same richard coming from galaxy's edge this way it kind of felt like we were coming in the back way yeah and it feels like everything was. This feels wasn't, more inviting. Yeah, was it? And more us. exciting and like wow. Look yeah. How big so are. if you've not been here before, I would recommend coming Definitely. at it from from the front way. So like, and you see um, all the characters. Where, where, where would it? Well. Yeah, it definitely feels like it was designed to be entered this way rather than the way we came in before. So basically, the opposite way to the way we're walking right now. We almost came to the Hollywood Brown Derby for dinner, but alas, we didn't. Again, this is kind of carries on the theme of the old school Hollywood vibe. Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway is now open, but it's a 70 minute wait, and we've decided not to bother because we're going to do Fantasmic instead. Yes, so we're heading around this way, back toward Tara Terra. I think it's going to start to get lit up with like neon signs, neon lights and stuff. Um, like the old school Hollywood glam of yesteryear. Uh, but yeah, we're going to head down this way towards the Tower of Terror so that we can go get in, um, get our seats for Fantasmic. And we need to get some snacks as well. That's going to be our dinner. Like some sort of snackage will be required. Oh, look, there's the Tower of Terror looking gorgeous, darling. I love when everything lights up. Honestly, all the parks, they completely transform this time of night, even more so when the sky gets that I bit love darker. I pretty at night. Yeah, really pretty. Like you, Richard, the dog. Oh, and look, there's a service dog. 
Oh, I'd love to bring Minnie here. She'd really love it. She'd especially love Tower of Terror. Wouldn't you, Minnie? It's 8.36 and the show starts at 9. And look where we are. We're right on the edge <laughs> of Fantasmic. Very, very excited. I think there may be some changes. Don't know what the changes are yet. So we'll find out. I'm not going to give any spoilers without letting you know there'll be spoilers. So don't worry right now. I've got no clue. But we're right on the side. I'm not lying. That's the edge. I so hope, this is where we are. I hope we see all the backstage action. Yeah. I know. We can kind of see a little bit down the side there. So I'm quite excited to see um, a little sneak preview of things to come or when people are going on. Um, but yeah, very, very excited. When was the last time we saw Fantastic? It must be at least five years ago. So, yeah. Woo! Here it comes. The Mexican wave has started. It's getting closer and closer and closer. We're going to join in. Come on, Disney friends. Woo! Will we send it back? We're sending it back. There we go. So this is a bit of a tradition at Fantasmic. Always happens like five minutes before the show starts. But someone in the end starts a Mexican wave. And we did it. Woo! It is time. It's the best show on earth, I've told you once and I'll tell you again. I have missed that show a lot. It's so good. Oh, gosh, every time it gets me choked up. I think I cried, I feel like about ten times. <laughs> I was just he did. crying. He did. It's a mixture of things for me. It's very nostalgic because I've seen it many, many times. I have the soundtrack on CD, so I've listened to that many, many <laughs> times. Um, I always remember have almost like we tend to watch it like twice at like once near the start of the holiday when it's like happy 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 memories because it's like oh you know start of a new holiday sure and then it tends to be one of the last things I watch yeah as well and then it almost has like sad not sad memories but like oh sad memories you know that feeling of like oh my god we're leaving so it's really yeah. emotional because you're going to miss it so much so i always have two different memories like one that's pure joy and one that's filled with a bit of like oh my god we're about to leave type thing so sure. at the minute we're in our joy era yeah. which is lovely um right and they've made loads of changes well, i was gonna say spoiler alert before we oh, say yeah. talk about the changes yeah, if you yeah. haven't seen the new version you don't want to know then just let you know but if you're still with us um Everything needs to change and move forward and progress, otherwise it's the same and becomes stale, right? Um, I was a little bit nervous as to what the changes would be and, you know, would they take away one of my favourite bits and get rid of it and I would miss it forever and never see it again type thing. But I can confirm the new bits blew me away. That's so good. I was an emotional wreck. I was also starstruck at some of the, like, surprises and the couches that came out sorry we're walking back to the car i'm trying not to i'm trying to tell we'll see where to go yes <laughs> he's guiding me um huh. yeah some of the couches that came out and the things that they did i was like oh my god i had no idea this would happen um so one of my favorite bits for me that i was born in it mulan because oh, mulan, mulan is that's my favorite disney film okay. like all-time favorite disney film i love mulan i love that she I saves all of china go. it's oh, not just yeah. about falling in love like everything else like it's different uh, i love the music absolutely love it i could watch mulan again and again so when she had her moment but it wasn't just like a bit of her song she was there she was fighting she, she was, was strong fighting. she they gave her all that stuff to do and i just thought yes Team Mulan. So, um, just like, yeah, she had her moment. Elsa came out and they didn't do Let It Go, they did Show Yourself. No, they didn't. I yes. was like, yes. I thought it was actually going to go into Let It Go, but it no, didn't. No, and like Moana, really like, didn't she like walk on water? Moana like, walked on water. What? Moana, like, blew me away. She came away at the, fr she came to the front and she walked in the water and splashed it. I went, she's on the water. Wow. She's on the water. I was like, oh. And just... then there was like a little fountain in the middle that she sort of paraded around, I think. Pocahontas came out Tricky and did her bit. Interesting Interesting that all of like the kind of Pocahontas section is gone and she gets her moment just her but John Smith doesn't do his trick on the rope however no. I did notice that Aladdin, Aladdin does, does like the same which I actually thing. preferred Aladdin Aladdin's great because Aladdin's, um, uh, Aladdin's so a little good. bit more popular in my opinion oh but those changes were fab and we were worried that the dragon was going to be not there at all and then maybe be like no fire I was worried about that but 
yes, old school dragon, the crane head does come out, does all the fire, gives you all the feels, absolutely loved it. Uh, and I was having a little laugh at the end, um, I don't know if you know this, but um, because the side we were sitting on, Ariel does go into complete darkness, they put a cloak on she her does, and leave yeah. her there. So when the fireworks are going off, it does light her up and you can see that Ariel's just sitting there, that bit makes me laugh. So I'm like emotional looking up at the fireworks and, and Mickey and all that stuff. But then, um, yeah, I do occasionally look at her sitting there and it makes me chuckle now that I know that fact. If you don't know that fact, Google it and you'll see that Ariel on the boat does have to, um, yeah, she can't get up and leave. So when the fireworks go off, they have to put a black cloak over <laughs> and they, so just, they just abandon her. So if you do look on that white boat that goes round, uh, what is it, the Steamboat Willie? Yeah. If you look on that, you can just see someone occasionally lit up. When a firework goes off, you'll just see someone sitting there with a black hood on just sitting very still pretending they're not there and it makes me laugh which has also had a big update steamboat willy it's got the little trim around the yeah, edge it's got now like, rope light, light like rope light on as well it looks it looks much but, um much um oh God, i can't look well it's just more fun it just like it's had a facelift yeah, it's yeah, yeah it's a facelift that's it money yeah. and also the lighting at the start change all the all the little like twinkly lights come on that yes. make that center like spotlight oh that comes it's so up. gorgeous so they have added extra extra things in with the animation as well but extra light effects but yeah it however was so so good it was amazing we now have an issue because we do not know where the car is parked literally do not know no we other are than the fact that it's in lost. mickey yes somewhere in mickey please don't ever forget to take a picture i don't think we've are. walked far enough actually, we don't know so we, so we are going to keep walking i've got yeah. my hand Once around we'll in, back yeah, I don't know where we're going. Everyone's like tooting their horns. I don't really know what's going on. I don't on. think anybody knows where they're parked. No, I no one knows what the issue is. So here. please take a picture. I know we're in Mickey, but we the always road take a picture. But don't we know. Haven't. Do you remember the registration of the car? No. Yeah. So we're gonna have to do that thing where we keep unlocking it and hope. All that I know, guys, is that it's a Jeep. Yeah, it's oh. a Jeep. Oh no. I don't know. I'm gonna have to. Actually. I'm gonna have to do what everyone else is doing and press buttons and see what happens. I think we're further up this way. We'll oh. see. I'm about to teach you all a very good lesson. You see that alarm's going off over there? I can hear loads of car alarms going off. I've just worked out we can't find the car. On here, I have an alarm. I'm going to press it. And over here, follow the sound. I can hear it. I'm going to press it again. I can't hear that. I can hear it. I'm going to do it again. <gasps> That's not our car. That's not our car. Oh. <laughs> okay, so we went to someone else's alarm car. Richard thinks that this is our car. It's a really, really, really loud alarm. The closer we get, the more I'm thinking that he is correct. This does look like a big Jeep. Oh my gosh, we've been making this noise for ages uh, and I can't stop it. I can't stop it. But yes, we found it. Oh, we did it. Yay, we found it. We had the noisiest car in the car park. Oh my God, I'm so on edge. Oh, we did it. Oh gosh, how embarrassing. Well, we're back. We're back home. It is now five past 11. Indeed. I think this is the latest night we've ever had this time <laughs> in Florida. We've obviously had this late time, nights, yeah. but this time in Florida, we've never been up this late um we grabbed a mcdonald's on the way home from the drive-thru very naughty. which is very naughty however i can tell you that the rest of the family when they left earlier they also went to mcdonald's so we kind of just kept up with the tradition and followed um, in their footsteps we didn't go overboard we no. just had a nice burger and chips yeah which is a mcdonald's yeah, but as in like... We didn't get burger and chips. We and could have got a lot more. <laughs> we could have got a lot more. Yeah. I wasn't too hungry, but it was just nice to have something. We were going to get some food before Fantasmic, but um, I do advise if you're going to get food before Fantasmic, get it before actually walking into Fantasmic yeah. because the lines uh, at the back of like that outdoor auditorium space, they are very, very, very busy. Well, also, it's just snacky. They're like, they're like, there's popcorn, pretzels. There was churros and things like that. Yeah, yeah. It's not so I didn't look dinner. at the menu properly though. To it's not like actual food. No, it's not. It's not proper, proper dinner. Uh, but we had an amazing <clears> time. <throat> we are back home safe and sound. We're excited to see what we get up to tomorrow. We're not sure mm. what we're doing tomorrow for sure. So we will find out. But yeah, if you're not a subscriber, then please do subscribe. Hit that subscribe button. Hit the bell icon to turn on your notifications. You also need to make sure that you do turn on the notifications on your computer or on your app or wherever you're watching 
switching this on um just to make sure that you do get notified every time we upload a new video we are here for three weeks in florida so we're going to do lots of fun stuff lots of exciting things to come uh so we're very excited for you to be joining us on our journey if you like the video as well please do give us a thumbs up that would mean a, uh, mean a lot uh we're great to have you liking the video and helping us boost our viewership that's not quite the right word, but you know what I mean. The viewership. Uh, drop us a comment as well. We'd love to hear from you. Do you have any recommendations of things to do in Florida that maybe aren't Disney? Something a little bit different. Mm. Uh, you were saying at some point you want to go to somewhere like Gatorland. So, I don't know, has anyone been to Gatorland? Is that something we should do? I don't know. I'm a little bit scared, but maybe we'll go there. We'll see. Uh, and also, we are on Instagram, at wussy underscore. Uh, it'll be somewhere in the corner. So, I'd love to see you on there as well. Mm. All right. Thank you very much for watching. We are very tired. We've had a very good day at Hollywood Studios. Yeah. Still get to, didn't get to do everything that was new that no. we want to do there. So we're excited to go back at some point during the holiday as well. So we will do that. All right. Bye guys from me, Wussy and Richard.